All right, I'm back. I've got a, uh, I've solved the microsphere problem, and uh, also got the uh, my microspheres condu conductance way low. I've got the ohm, I've got the meter set on 200 ohms here, and I'm going to show you there that what we got. Look at there, 104, 105. Okay. So I've done it without putting any copper oxide in. I'll have more to say about this later. For right now, though, I'm not going to tell you exactly how I did it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. I had some strange dreams last night. When I got up this morning, though, I realized that those dreams were pointing the way forward for me. So, since I pay attention to my dreams and listen to my intuition, I changed my approach uh, on several things for this biocell, and one of them led to that improvement right there <coughs> in my uh, microspheres. Just one simple change made it work great, and also lowered the the uh, the conductance of the things down to a hundred ohms. So that shows you that your intuition is trying to lead you down on the right path, but most people don't pay attention to it, unfortunately. So let's talk about the cell here a little bit. The original bio cell <coughs> was very simple, and it was just a basic oxidation reduction reaction. You had the graphite carbon and then the titanium dioxide split the water into hydrogen and uh, hydroxy ions and then you had the, the zinc uh, uh, anode down there and the cell I showed that it was pulling oxygen from the air and what it was doing with that oxygen was eventually forming some zinc oxide on the zinc so it was basically we're just taking advantage of the oxidation uh, here in the, in, the, in the very first cell the, the, the graphite's already reduced as far as it can go, so it's it's not doing anything there. All the energy is coming from the oxidation on the on the zinc. Now, in the second generation battery, what I did was I added oxidative phosphorylation to the battery, and when I did that, and we added a lot more hydrogen to it. Plus, we added a lot of oxygen to it, but it's all tied up in these ions right here. And these ions, of course, all operative in a different pH zone. So uh, we're just shuffling uh, oxygen around at this point. And there's very little shuffling going on here. Now we're now we've got more oxygen in the system, but we're and we're just shuffling it around. And that increased and increased the uh, power output. But uh, there are thousands of reactions going on in your body all the time. And if you try to analyze all these different reactions, you're going to get bogged down in a whole bunch of details. Okay, The way to look at it is from a battery perspective, anyway, is what processes in the body produce energy. And then focus on those. And, and, and there are a number of them. The most important ones are one of them is oxidative phosphorylation produces energy in the body. The citric acid cycle produces energy in the bottom in the body. And beta oxidation also produces energy in the bottom in the body. So we can combine all of these and that's what I intend to do is slowly work all of these into one cell and keep making the cell more powerful. So that's uh, that's the goal right there. And I'll be back shortly with something else to share with you. Now I want to talk a little bit about something that's been bugging me a little bit. And the question is, why is there so little interest in this technology? You know, you would think that the world's first self-charging battery would spread like wildfire on the Internet. But that's not been the case. You know, I've been working hard to get this technology out there to people so they can use it. You know, 
and I think of, I understand why now that it's not taken off. You know, nobody gives anything valuable away for free in our society. You know, and if it had any real value, I'd keep it to myself and make a lot of money off of it, wouldn't I? That's what most people would do. You know, and I could start producing self-charging batteries and selling them, and I'd be I'd make a whole lot more money. There is no doubt about that. And I could build it into a huge business, you know. But that's not what I want to do, because it's not the right thing to do. I mean, this is this technology should go out there to the people, so that people can use it, you know, and, and free themselves from the economic burden, you know, that the electric companies and everybody puts on us. You know, we've become the uh, consumers, uh, you know, we don't we don't produce or things we need for ourselves anymore. You know, we buy everything. So anyway, I hope this channel takes off and uh, goes viral because it needs to, you know. And uh, the only way that's going to happen is for people to start sharing uh, the videos, so spread the knowledge. Uh, if that doesn't happen, it'll never go viral. There's no doubt about it, you know. And so, you know, I'm asking you, please share this video. Take a second and hit the, the share button and, and share it with at least one person. If each person that watched one of my videos shared it, the knowledge would get out there very fast, you know. But uh, until people start sharing the videos, that's not going to happen, you know. I don't care if you subscribe to the channel. I don't care if you like the video, you know, or dislike it or whatever, but th it's got to be shared. That's the main thing. So please, share this, share this technology with other people so that it spreads, you know. It's for the best for, for everybody. And it's not all about me, and it's not about one other person, or, you know, it's about everybody having access to free energy, you know. All we have to do is just harvest it. You know, this technology, all it does is convert heat into electricity. And there's a lot of people out there working on, on free energy devices, you know, pulling electricity out of the air and out of the ground and, you know, all kinds of things. But this is by far the simplest way to do it, you know. So, anyway, please share this video and, uh, and uh, help this technology go viral. That's what it needs to happen. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.